Hey friends, so today I wanted to do something a little bit different from what I usually do and leading up to Black Friday and then after that the you know gift giving season of Kwanzaa, Christmas, Hanukkah, um, I wanted to share some products that I really like that I use in my household and that I paid my own money for, right? I, I'm not sponsored by these people. I know a lot of the founders um, and I've interacted with them, but they're not paying me to do this. They didn't ask me to do this. So this is really a sincere review of products I love. In case you're looking for something unique and interesting to shop for and you want to support a small business, you want to support perhaps a woman owned business, um, a business that is owned by a woman of color. Um, most of the businesses I'm highlighting will cover those things. A few might fall out of those exceptions, uh, but for the most part, these are really products I love and use. And today I'm excited to share with you Sugar Puff Beauty. This is a brand new uh, beauty brand. It debuted in 2020, no, 2020, yeah, 2021 sometime. Um, I think it was this year that she debuted her line. And it's just an absolutely beautiful, exquisite line. And I will tell you this. The first, I, I have a few notes here because there are a few things I want to cover. So the first thing I want to cover is how the product smells, okay? Um... Oh, actually, before I get to that, let's cover how it arrives. It comes, you know, in, I, I bought the set. There's a, a bundle set there. And I will link the, the website as well as the actual bundle that I bought, which is like a wash day bundle, which is a shampoo, conditioner, and curl cream. And they're all scented the same way. So no conflicting smells. And it smells really amazing. It smells uh, kind of fruity you know, like a uh, tropical fruit. I, I don't know if it's mango or like a pear or something, but um, it smells really great. And it's not an overwhelming smell, okay? Because I'm not really into fragrance oils. So I, I did email her and ask her what exactly is in here because I'm very particular about fragrance oils. I'm, I'm a little anti, to be honest, because I don't think that they're great for human health and I don't think they're great for the environment. And so um, after a, a detailed discussion, she disclosed where she gets her fragrance oils from. And I know this particular vendor only sells all natural plant-based fragrances, okay? So I was cool with that. I was like, okay, I'll try it, even though my tendency is to prefer unscented. And my goal with this, based on how her marketing is positioned, based on, you know, a lot of people who love her brand are saying, I figured that it might not be the right thing for my hair texture necessarily, but it would be great for my kids and for people who like to do wash and goes and twist outs and stuff like that. So I bought it and I tried it on my son. Um, my son is, is, is um, he's not as amenable to having his hair washed. And even though it's short and so forth. Um, so it's always kind of a struggle to be like, okay, we gotta, we gotta handle your hair. Um, but I used the shampoo on him, uh, the creamy cleanser. And what I love about it is that it is so conditioning that you know, it, it just for like short, really short hair, it, just that one product was enough to cleanse and condition his hair, right? And his hair stayed curly for quite a few days, curly and moisturized for quite a few days after that. And of course, it smells great. So that was helpful, um, especially for kids. So I really love that aroma for kids. If you want your kids to smell fruity, but you want it to be safe and not to give them potential health problems. Um, or if your kids are distracted in a good way by pleasant smells in the bath, then this is a great line for them. Um, and I love that the one and doneness of the creamy cleanser. Um, so yeah, that, that I love about the cleanser. I think that if you had not washed hair for a while, or if your kid had like maybe a dirty scalp or something, or if you are using it for yourself as an adult, 
I would, I would clarify with a clarifying shampoo first. And even the natural clarifying shampoos do tend to make your hair feel a little bit hard. And then you can follow up with a creamy cleanser. So I know a lot of people who will clarify and then follow up with a creamy cleanser. This would be the one to follow up with, right? If you were, if you were going that route. Um, so yeah, so the aroma, um, the next thing I want to address is the moisture. This line is really moisturizing. Usually when people tell me that, oh, I want to make a detangling shampoo, I just kind of roll my eyes. because I'm just like, who would detangle during shampoo? But apparently a lot of people do this. So don't mind me. I, I'm not a big, but in this particular case, I was able to detangle a little bit um, with the shampoo and quite a bit actually quite a bit, you know, so this really does detangle. It'll cleanse and detangle, um, you know, so if you're one of those people who washes their hair often or um, who's always doing wash and goes and who likes to detangle in the shower in every single step, in the shampoo step and the conditioner step, um, this would be the way to go. This cre creamy cleanser will really get the job done for you that way. It'll moisturize and it cleanses enough right? It definitely cleanses the hair, no matter how dirty your hair is. And the scalp it cleanses, you know, like um, a normal to mildly dirty scalp. Okay. So um, yeah, I highly recommend that. And, and the moisture is in the shampoo, it's in the conditioner. Um, and, you know, it lasts, right? Like after washing their hair, their hair felt really soft, but the softness lasts, you know, um, and that's saying a lot, like right before you even put the product in. And then it's very detangling. Um, even this is very detangling. So if you look at this curl cream, um, there's uh, just, uh, this is how much I used. Okay, hopefully there's no hair in there. <laughs> this is how much I used. And my daughter's hair is, is pretty long, like soaking wet. It goes down to like maybe her mid back. Um, and you'd never know it when you see her puffs, as you'll see in the video, um, because her, you know, shrinkage, <laughs> she gets that from her mother, tons and tons and tons of shrinkage. And it just like goes, you know, um, so, but for all that hair, I just used a little bit uh, for her whole head. So this tells me that this would last probably at least six washes on very long hair. And if your hair is short or medium, you could really literally have this for 12 washes or something. I mean, it, it, it a little bit goes a long way. So it's really a great value for the money you spend. Um, so that's pretty cool. Um, and I also noticed that after using this curl cream, you know, I, I did seal it in with the really organic um, hair oil. Um, because at the time that I bought this, she didn't, you know, uh, Jasmine didn't have her, her oil, um, you know, Sugar Puff Beauty hadn't released its oil yet. Um, but then after I'd bought it and was trying out the products, <laughs> the oil came out. So there may be an herbal oil on her website. I saw it on her social media and it was a second batch of oils that she'd made and they sold out. So, you know, I don't know. But if you can get her oil, I'm sure it's just as amazing as everything else and just seal it in with the oil. Um, and that way you're not playing, paying shipping from lots of different places. But throughout this series, I'll be highlighting different hair oils that I love as well. So, so that'll be fine. Um, and then <clears throat> I did also um, uh, lay down my daughter's edges with um, the scalp drops from Curl House because I, I like that for strengthening the edges. Um, but honestly, if you're not a really super, my edges have to be super laid person, you really could just use this and brush it back um, and it'll get the job done in terms of just holding your edges. But if you want a super laid look, obviously you'll need to use a gel. Um, so yeah. So that's, I, I really love that. The, the last thing I want to highlight, well, that's actually not the last thing <laughs> because I can talk and talk about this product line is the sizes of the products. Okay. So the shampoo and the conditioner come in a bottle like this, right? And they are 16 ounces. And I really, really appreciate that simply because I could easily use eight ounces of conditioner 
in a hair wash when I'm washing my, my, my daughter's hair. And I could easily use two ounces on mine, right? So my hair isn't obviously as long, right? as my daughter's hair, but you know, it, and it's tightly curled, but I feel like I like to be generous with, um, how much I give conditioner because conditioner is where I detangle, right? Myself or my kids. And it's like, I don't want to be using a smidgen of conditioner because I'm scared that this, you know, $40 conditioner is going to finish in one wash. I want to be generous. So I, I really like people who make really large sizes of conditioner because that's telling me that you understand right what um curly hair needs right so especially if you know that your conditioner doesn't have a lot of slip or you need a lot of it but this conditioner does have a lot of slip it's generously sized so for super long hair you will get um a few washes out of the the conditioner and um and definitely a few washes out of the creamy cleanser. And yeah, so I really like that. The only thing I suggest is that a pump be used for the conditioner or that you pour it out into a jar. I'm really sorry, something just fell over there. But I'm I'm really not that great with um with squeezing something super thick out of a jar. So I always kind of prefer a pump. So that, that is my only thing, but that's something that can easily be fixed and is worth, you know, going there for. Um, I also think that regarding the aroma, she will reduce, uh, release something unscented, you know, and obviously I would prefer that for myself. Right. However, um, my daughter was really, really, really excited about the smell. Um, <laughs> So we will. So if we, when we rebuy this, and we will, um, you know, we'll, we'll, we might buy an unscented pack and a scented pack, and just kind of alternate a bit. Um, but yeah, she loves aroma, and the aroma isn't toxic. So yeah, for for her, maybe that's that's the way to go. All right. So that concludes my review of this product. My review is highly, highly recommend. Um, you know, it's professional, it shipped fast, it looked pretty when it came, the containers were great. Um, it's a sort of minimalist line because you don't have to do a lot of extra steps because I feel like the curl cream really is versatile because um, you, uh, you can style, you can detangle, and even says here, right probably can't see because of the glare but it says style uh moisturize detangle right it does all of those things uh you can use it for twist outs braid outs and wash and goes uh that's totally true i don't know that i would use it for a wash and go on my texture hair um but like any like 4a 4b and every other hair so basically <laughs> every texture but my hair and i didn't try it on my hair i was just too scared um i have very specific things that i feel like work for my texture hair and i like to stick to those but for everyone else this is really truly amazing um yeah so you should go for it all right take care <laughs>